Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Limbo, with Rick once again. We're here with another podcast episode. We missed last week because we were both busy, but we're back again. And within the past two weeks since the last episode, a lot has happened with, you know, people doxing one of us. Then we have Black Ops 6 leaks. We have a ton of drama that's happened. And, you know, we're going to be talking about it, about everything here today from why we talk about and expose YouTubers and content creators for reverse boosting, our problems with it, the Black Ops 6 leaks, reading some hate comments, and, you know, maybe what went wrong with Exify, a whole bunch of other stuff. But, Rick, how you doing today, man? Man, I'm doing good, man. It's, you know, it's been a long morning. It's been a long week. It's been a week that just uh, uh, was exciting for me, exciting for the channel, again, a lot of uh, new subscribers, so it's very good uh, to be able yeah. to do this again. But... Uh, got a lot of other weird stuff going on within the week, uh, you know, some some personal stuff. So yeah. I know a lot of people obviously that have seen the videos have, have seen that. I mean, in the, you know, I know we're going to start off by talking about reverse boosting, but we might as well just get that off the chest one more time or just talk about it. In the end, I really don't care. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a yeah. name. Uh, but when we are actually like breaking it down and realizing the situation, how far somebody, I'm not saying Hero did, but he obviously somehow knows the name yeah somebody had to dig very very far down in my twitter to find that information so it's just a little weird uh I, you know i got a lot of people in the comments you know we might pull up some later just basically saying that i'm the one at the wrong going at him for his whatever but i'm just gonna say this and it's very simple if you have at least a brain i know i know me and you both <laughs> have brains yeah i went at this man's gameplay uh and i didn't go anything else but his gameplay and his content so I'm just gonna say that uh, never went personal until he went personal, and it is yeah. what it is. But you know what? I still, you know, still giving him a chance to apologize. Haven't gotten one yet. Two days now. You know, Two it days. Is, it is. It is what Two it is. Two videos uh, later. You know, just uh, he just continues. I mean, the guy had 113 kill streak. Did you see that in his recent video? <laughs> yeah. 113 kills. But somehow, somehow, ladies and gentlemen, this guy's legit. But hey, it is what it is. But that's all I'm gonna talk about with Hero in that whole situation. I know a lot of people like you know, want to hear about that, but it is what it is over with. Uh, you know, I'm done talking about the guy because you know, when you work, when you get into one of those type of liars, it's just, there's no point. It's like talking to a brick wall. So yeah, you guys uh, never going to change. Never going to admit it. It is, it is never going to apologize. We, I mean, everybody knows, uh, anybody, like I said, with the brain. Um, but, uh, I, I want to get your thoughts on, um, I know a lot of people know why I love talking about and love exposing these people. Um, even though some people think I'm not exposing them, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> I want to hear what your thoughts are on uh, the whole entire thing. So go ahead, my man. So like for reverse boosting, right? I'm fine with people. Do I understand why people do it? You know, skill based matchmaking. They're trying to have a fun time playing Call of Duty, right? But when you are a content creator who does it and then lies about it and then tries to literally go through multiple links and things to you know, lie about it, hide it, make sure your community from old to new viewers don't find out about it. And that's when I have a problem. You could do it if you're not a content creator or you could just admit it as a content creator and you'll be fine. Look at Joe. Well, look at swag. Look at some multiplayer players um, or content creators like Kareem Savage. Apparently he confessed about doing it in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. And then he switched over to Warzone and now he's playing legit games and he's still now getting more subs, more views, just because he admitted it. No one's calling him out. No one's doing any of that. But my reason... Be honest, so I'm going to step in here. I don't think he's in legit games all the time, though, still. Because from from, from what I've heard, yeah. Like, I don't know. I haven't you delved into he, it. I'm just, I, I mean, I don't watch him because mm -hmm. I just it's not the content I like to watch. Yeah. But, I mean, once you do it, uh, and every time he's going in these solo trios, I just, I just think in some of these games he has to be. But... I don't know. Again, yeah. I don't watch, mm -hmm. so I can't say that. But yeah, I'm, he at least admitted it. Yeah, unlike for like some people. Yeah, like I'm going based off his his community's comments that they've posted on my videos. But the reason why I talk about it is because when growing up, I watched Chris Move, uh, T Martin, and uh, commentary YouTubers. Right? They would talk about the game. They would talk about the community. They would talk about their own lives. But every time someone got exposed for reverse boosting and or you know faking their gameplay, like SS Sniper Wolf, right? They would always talk about it and call it out. And over the past couple of years, it's changed to where everyone that's a creator is most likely doing it and or hiding the fact that they do. And they're lying to their community. And 
that's my biggest problem. Lying to people that give you that living, that revenue, that, you know, community. They are supporting your lifestyle, you know, forever if you're a creator. And the fact that you have to lie about how you get your games and like if you are legit or not is just it's awful. Because for any I don't know how, you know, much you're into YouTube, Rick, but for me, like seeing creators lie and seeing the lifestyle that they have and live and also like how they are on camera compared to when they're not. When they're lying about something that is easy just to admit and no one would really care if they admitted, it just sucks to see. And that's my biggest problem. And also, I just want to have more realness within the Call of Duty community for content creators and streamers. Right. Especially yeah. with how much um, the views, you know, that an engagement that these creators make and have with the people that are watching them, how much money they're making is a lot. And yeah. there's really no reason to lie about it other than you just trying to get more money and just be a fraud. And yeah. like I said earlier, I don't have a problem with you doing it. I have a problem with you lying about it. Yeah, it's and it's the craziest thing is all the videos of them, especially the people that say they admitted to it are from 2019, 2020. Mm -hmm. And it was like a huge thing in Cold War that everybody was admitting it. You know, you got Frizz Eyes admitting it. You had Paradox admitting it. You had even Mark of a Hero admitting it. There's videos out there. Yeah. Uh, but for some reason, now it's just like, oh, I admitted it years ago. No, no, no. You need to do it. And I don't care what anybody says. It should be just like what Marksman does. Before every video that he has reverse boosted lobbies, yeah. he says that. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, this is a reverse boosted lobby. I don't do this all the time. But when I do, I make sure I let you guys know. That's simple. Before every video. Because you got new people coming here to every single video that are maybe thinking these guys are freaking insane. Yeah. And they can always say, yeah, I admitted to it. Yeah, you admitted to it four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. And know? who's going to find that video? Who's going to find that video? Nobody's going to find it. Nobody gives a shit. So it should be before every video. It's a very simple introduction. Explain what you're doing. This is a reverse boosted lobby. Hope you guys enjoy the class setup. Boom. Done. Yeah. It's, it's that simple. That's all I want. Honesty is all we care about. And it's literally just, it's not hard to do. It's really but hot. When, when people go so far as to, I mean, like, even if you admit it, why do you still hide your screen? Mm -hmm. Just freaking show you, show everyone how you do it. That way they know, but people still hide their screen because they don't want the new people coming. To see what they're doing that way they think they're really good at the game and keep watching their videos it's yeah. as simple as that and it's just mm -hmm. gross i don't know it's weird but i mean it is what it is man everyone's saying it's been around for a long time nobody cares anymore i think a lot of people do care a lot of people care uh, because every time someone I mean, makes a video there look that at, that video pops up when you search that creator up look look at the setup video look at all their setup videos it's literally like nobody watches it People, mm -hmm. people see this and they don't want to watch those videos anymore. Back then, obviously when Call of Duty was better, those videos had hundreds of thousands of views all the time. Yeah. Now it's people struggling to get two, three, four thousand. You know what I mean? I mean, cause like it takes zero, zero. It's oversaturated story. as well. It's, it's so fucking lazy. And mm -hmm. that's the problem. The laziness of content creation within Call of Duty has created this laziness in the game from the create the developers. It, it's a laziness all around and just like everybody's like oh my god that's so fucking easy i'm gonna go do it and it's just over it's like a snowball effect every new creator wants to do it nobody wants to be different all the thumbnails are this fucking same people are even screenshotting <laughs> thumbnails and just <laughs> posting it on theirs i'm like first of all i said this to my video whoever that editor is he's fucking making bank yeah. that dude is making <laughs> bank dude i mean like to just literally have the same background every time Get a screenshot of the gun, do the remove a oh background effect with Photoshop, and then just add a fucking text. One shot, or new meta this, or fucking broken that. What the fuck you doing? Get it out of the game. Get it out of YouTube. It, it's so stupid. It, it's, nothing is new. Yeah. Nothing's new. Mm -hmm. And then everyone's going to say, like, what we're doing is nothing new. Eat my ass. What are you talking about? We do everything from videos to class setup, like from like normal like gameplay videos to class setups to rant videos to exposing videos. We do everything. We're not one trick ponies like these baby back bitches. Yeah. And I'm gonna say it. Whatever people say, I don't get. I get personal. That's not getting personal. I mean, come on, fuck you doing? It's trash I'm not talk. Calling, it's trash it's, talk. It's, it's just relax. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But like, it's, everyone knows it's true. And the people that get mad and the people that are are so upset about it, they even know it's true. Especially, you know who? Yeah. But crazy, I mean, bro. it is crazy. But like, I feel like the reason why 
all these guys have to post every day. 30 minute long videos is for all analytics. Literally 10, 10 minute intros, 10, 10 minute, minute intros, 30, like 20 minutes of gameplay. Like, dude, at this point, because of, I don't know if you've watched Mr. Beast, but Mr. Beast has talked about this before. He's the biggest YouTuber in the world. Most subscribed YouTuber, most amount of views per video in under 24 hours, right? He, in a sense, I, I enjoy watching Mr. Beast, but in a sense, for a lot of YouTubers now, he's ruined YouTube for how to edit videos, how long to make videos on stuff. And these people that are making these class set of videos are just sticking with 30 minute, 25 minute videos when nowadays with the attention span change and also with the fact that people want to watch something quick and short, videos should be around like eight to 12 minutes long. But these creators are that are super so oversaturated with these class set of videos or best settings and all that stuff that make the same videos every single day. Somehow, even though the game gets updated once a week on Wednesdays, there's always a new freaking meta. There's always a new meta, bro. Apparently, there's something that we did not read in the patch notes, something, you know, something crazy. But with how oversaturated content within, especially Call of Duty is for class setups and all that stuff, like, people don't want to watch eight minutes into a video and they still don't have the class setup yet, you know? It's, it's something needs to be changed about that because... Bro, not everyone has all the time. Started, man. I don't know when it started. I don't know, too. I like that. I mean, I, my, it had to happen when I wasn't watching Call of Duty that much. Probably, like, it had to be after Advanced Warfare. I don't even remember what games. I don't know. Definitely Warfare. definitely after BO4 because, dude, cut commentaries yeah. were dying down between BO4, um, Infinite Warfare, and all that stuff. Because that's when people, like, you know, FaZe Clan stopped posting Call of Duty cut commentaries and all that stuff. And, like, cut commentaries have been dead for a while now it hasn't been the same in a sense but yeah and then all these class of videos took over especially with modern warfare 2019 and warzone 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 no i it's we're gonna be talking about this later like what we think killed call of duty i mm -hmm. think warzone's the worst thing to happen to call of duty i, re I really do i i'm just talking about in in a content sense because obviously everyone wants to be the best that's where mm -hmm. you get all these cheaters Yep. And then you just get you get free to play so then here comes all the store bullshit here comes all the bundles We'll talk about that later, but I mean, just yeah. ever since like, I think Warzone was, I liked Warzone content. I, I'm not gonna lie, like the first Warzone was actually mm -hmm. fun, but once it started getting into cheaters and some, they changed the map, and it just after that they started. Doing it was never the, same. Mm -hmm. never the same. Never yeah. Like it was, it was awesome the first few months. I'm telling you, it was a blast playing on Verdansk, but man, dude, it, it's never been the same since then. That saved Modern Warfare 2019, though. Yeah, Let's be real. Mo I mean, Modern Warfare 2019's that was the worst, MP was, that was horrible. The worst launch I've ever seen in my life. Anybody trying to say that that game was the best, they're fucking just... They're Warzone carried. Warzone, Warzone carried Warzone, it. Warzone, that game mm -hmm. was fucking dog shit. Terrible. Yeah. But and It started everything. Yeah. It started this fucking terrible ass five years now. Mm -hmm. But with, you know, you saying that it's been bad for the last five years, I... I think Modern Warfare 3 and Cold War were actually good, but... I agree. I agree, yeah. but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, just it's not the same. Happened with the mm -hmm. creation and the community. Yeah. 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 But with um, the Call of Duty cycle and Modern Warfare 3 getting dried out, Black Ops 6 is coming out, and the beta is at the end of this month. And from August 3rd to about, I believe, August 9th, August 8th. So for about five... Even today. Even yeah. Today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So between... For the last week... There have been leaks about multiplayer, zombies, and now on August 10th, when we're recording this, Call of Duty campaign leaks for Black Ops 6. Have you seen any of the leaks and like, what are your thoughts about it? Because I've seen you on Twitter talk about it lightly. So I, I, I know I see this stuff on, on Twitter. I haven't made a video on it yet because it's like, I can't show anything. Yeah, you can't show anything yet. Yeah. Right, so I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm not, there's no point talking about it because I'm not going to talk about it probably until we actually play the beta because... It, it's the same thing like talking about trailers whatever i'm every trailer looks fucking insane mm -hmm. you know what i mean I, yeah but like i'm not going to talk about it until i play the game but i did say like watching just the way like the movement everything is it looks like cold war and Over three made a baby you know they had some fun in the room together and they made yeah. a baby mm -hmm. and um but i did just see a video literally 20 minutes ago or like 30 minutes ago whenever it was of the they have like a training area where you can work on your movements and work on the new omni movement yeah and i am just nervous about. with this because i'm wor i'm worried about this movement man i'm telling you like i'm a movement i'm a movement warrior i yeah. love it i love mm -hmm. adh i'm an adhd fucking <laughs> insane guy but when i'm seeing like you're able to jump and slide backwards <laughs> 
it, or or you, jump and slide and, to the side and do some like fucking backflip. Are we Simone Biles out here? The <laughs> fuck we doing? I mean, like it's getting to the point where I'm like, I don't know how it's gonna play out. I'm nervous for that. If it turns out to be broken, I'm gonna be pissed because then all we know we're gonna get these spamming ass fucking movement kings. <laughs> oh my god! But I'm, I mean, I like I said, it's just I I've seen it. It looks like it's gonna be a fun game to play. But again, I can't say that until I play it. But it looks interesting. I just hope it's not broken. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I do want to say I do not like, and it's so weird. I don't know how many people agree with this. Like, when you kill someone in Mile for 3, that noise almost gets me wet. I'm telling you. Like, I love that sound. <laughs> uh-huh. Let me tell you. But this new noise in Black, uh, Black Ops 6, I don't like it. That's a weird thing for me. I just, no, it's, just, a it's a huge thing. It's a huge thing. Think about it in Modern know. Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, the OG ones. That yeah, was huge. It's just, it's just uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just nervous. Yeah. Is all I gotta and say. And you have every right to be because you did not play it yet. No, I haven't played it yet. I'm just. You, you bought I, it for seventy dollars too. Mm-hmm. I haven't. Yeah, I'm worried about just that movement possibly being broken and then just abused. You and know? not being fun for you to even play the game and then you know play it on and off camera, on and off stream. I, yeah, I totally get able, that. And being able to lay down, like I, I like it. Cause it's realistic, but being able to lay down and turn, I feel like that's going to be a bitch because mm-hmm. people are just going to fucking camp and hold angles that they, I don't know. It, it's we'll see. Yeah. We'll I mean, for me, right. The leaks at first got me really hyped, like extremely hyped to the point where I was considering like, yo, let me play zombies first. I, I know you're not a zombies guys, but like for me, like I want to get the camos for multiplayer and zombies. I did it with modern warfare three. Right. Mm-hmm. And I was, with all these leaks, I was debating, like, do I want to do zombies first or multiplayer? But I, I chose multiplayer first because then we started getting leaks about multiplayer and the movement, the weapons, the settings for um, the HUD and all that stuff. Um, unfortunately, you can't make your own custom HUD. It's all like, I think like 15 to 20 presets that you can choose from. But my, my thoughts on the leaks is that like, I'm excited for the game even more. And I, I just want to play Black Ops 6 at this point. I don't want to play Modern Warfare 3 anymore. I don't want to even, like, touch touch the game at all. Because whatever I learn or unlock is just not going to be relevant at all for Black Ops 6 in October. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I'm also worried about how movement is going to be for casuals. And also for good players. Because now it's a huge adjustment for the CDL, the really good content creators and streamers. And the casuals and like imagine the movement is just too advanced for casuals yeah, and they quit the game. They're gonna be they're gonna be fucked. Yeah, they, they are gonna be fucked. It looks like it's gonna be one of those things that it's a learning curve. To, if they don't even know how to slide cancel in this game, which it's not hard to, mm-hmm. no offense to anybody if you don't know how to slide cancel. <laughs> but if you can't do that, you're gonna be fucked in this game. I'm yeah. telling you. This is screwed. how I feel with this Omni movement coming in. It's like Fortnite in the sense of how building got even more popular and more people got better with it. Because yeah. it's a mechanic that you have to learn in order to be good at the game. And now with this Omni movement being so free for the player and it being completely new. This is the first time Call of Duty's done Omni movement. It's a whole new learning curve that everyone has to learn and adapt to. And we don't know for Call of Duty 2025 or Call of Duty 2026, sorry, um, if Omni movement will return. So we could learn all this Omni movement stuff and then enjoy it, hate it. And then the next call dude won't even have it. So we learned it for nothing. Yeah. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind if it doesn't come back even without playing it because mm-hmm. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll love it and I'll completely change my mind. But like, I just have a feeling that somebody's going to run out and just fucking die this side. My first <laughs> death on the game. I'm going to fucking lose my shit. First death. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. The only thing is, like I said, we can't say anything until we play it. And mm-hmm. I'm not listening to anybody that honestly, Anybody invited to this Call of Duty next? Uh, I'm not listening to what they say because a lot of them are paid to go there. Uh, really? I'm just, I'm just, oh, I, I feel like a lot of them are. You know, people like swag, like they're getting all these gift boxes and shit. There's no way they're not getting like. They have to say nice things. You know, what yeah. I, mean? I feel like mm-hmm. they do. Um, who knows? I don't know if they're getting paid. I shouldn't have said that, but you know what I mean. Like they're yeah. they get all these gifts from Activision, Call of Duty, whatever, uh, all the time for the past I don't know how many years. But um, it's just uh. I, I, I am nervous, but I just want to watch their gameplay. I don't want to even listen to anything they're saying. Um, yeah. Because I just want to see how it looks, how it plays out. And there are going to be some sweaty dudes there. Yeah, um, there is. And we'll see how it plays, how many uh, 
what it looks like. But mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting. It's, it's yeah. going to be a very interesting year. Very interesting first month, I feel like. Uh, yeah, definitely. Because I might, not even, I might not even go to the online game for the first like 20 minutes I'm on. I might just go to private, private match. match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure, dude. I don't want to go in there getting fucking throttled. Oh, uh -huh. one, one thing I have, uh, I do want to say is that a lot of people are saying the game looks clunky, but this is on a PS4, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And from all the least, it's on a PS4 on like 30 to 40 frames. So imagine giving this game, who's actually good at the game, right? 200 FPS, 240 FPS with high graphics, all that stuff, with all the right hardware. The, the game is going to look different from PS4 to, to like someone with, on a PC. And that's why I haven't really said like, oh yeah, it's like already going to be the best Call of Duty or better than Modern Warfare 3 because we don't, we haven't seen it on the latest hardware. But yeah. next thing I, uh, I want to talk about is hate comments. Um, for you, I know that you get a lot of comments on your videos from me when I'm talking about, you know, either aim assist or Call of Duty and or um, call, talking about a content creator or something that happened within the community and debating with it. You know, we both get hate comments and... I wanted to read some of mine favorite ones that I've gotten within the past like month or so because I <laughs> I got some pretty funny ones. Yeah, go ahead, man. I mean, I can pick and choose a hundred if I yeah. want. To. I gotta scroll, scroll, scroll because some people have been hitting up my shit. So if you got one ready, you go yeah. ahead. But I got one. I mean, whatever you want to do. Yeah. So for the first one, start off with Papa Dingo six nine seven five. Damn, with that hairline, I wasn't surprised you're that ass. Um, it was a clip of me dying to a cheater on TikTok. And he called me ass because of my hairline. Uh, what was that personal stuff, huh? Yeah. Man, it seems like a little <laughs> trend's going on here. Wow. And for the next one, I got Infixulin. Uh, that's his name. It was on a video on how to get a nuke in Modern Warfare 3. What I do, because at that time I was getting a lot of DNA bonds, a lot of nukes. And someone said, how about you take this up the ass and show me the best way to actually do something important in my life. Get the fuck out of here. Um, wow. Yeah, I got two likes. <laughs> so maybe maybe a lot of people agree. Maybe I should talk about how to do things in Call of Duty. Um, another one from that same video is, I know I'm not going to drop a nuke, mainly because I don't ever play Call of Duty, but good tips, man. <laughs> people not even wanna <laughs> it's so random too bro um yeah. wow yeah i mean shoot, i'm scrolling through and i'm trying to find <laughs> some really bad ones a lot of them are just you know whatever uh, a lot of people want a boxing match uh <laughs> what between who it wanna, me and hero they want a little boxing match i don't i'm not i'm not promoting violence i don't do mm -hmm. that I don't do that but uh, a lot of that um Man, I, I I don't I can't find it, but uh, I'm not gonna get political here. But a lot of people don't like this flag back here. You know, a lot of people don't like this flag. Uh, get, apparently, that's it's hateful to to like the police, uh, or support the police. So uh, that's one of the main ones. But um, I do get I don't know about you. I get a lot of comments saying I'm cheating. I don't know if you were around back in the day. I made a video on it. The funniest shit ever. I uh <laughs> was I had a attack helicopter. In the air. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know when the attack helicopter shoots down, I don't know if they it changed pings. it or whatever. It has the hit marker symbol. So at the exact moment I aimed down into a shipment container, just because I was just pre-aiming if somebody was in between them or whatever mm -hmm. it was. Yeah. The hit markers came down. You could see the bullets flying. You could see them flying you hear them. down. You hear them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the guy is like, You see that? The Rick's hacking. Did you see this at at seventeen twenty or whatever the time frame? He 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 shot through and he he's hitting him through the container with a striker nine with just normal rounds. Apparently, I could shoot through two containers. But <laughs> another thing that people don't understand the game. But it was crazy because when you watch the game, you literally it's like perfect timing. But I went through a whole fucking video just roasting the shit out of this clown because I just you know like it's just funny. Yeah. You look at the, the ammo, the ammo didn't go down. You're looking at the gun, no guns, no bullets are coming out of the gun. Uh, <laughs> you look down at the top, you see the bullets flying down. You look at the kill feed, it says helicopter killed him. I mean, are we fucking stupid? I, I mean, don't even know that's a hate comment. It's just stupid. It's just stupidity. Yeah, no. It, it, oh listen, my, my hate comments could be something very serious, very funny, but like, I, I think one of the funniest uh, 
interactions that I've had in my comments is someone remember when I got banned? Remember when I got yeah. shadow banned a couple of weeks ago? Oh, couple yeah, months ago? I got a bunch on those videos. Yeah. I should look those up. Yeah. Um my favorite <laughs> comment was you think we can't tell where your eyes are at because you're Asian. We can see everything because you're a camera. I'm like, bro, I have to delete that because it's racist. That? Yeah. Because I don't, for, that, there's huh? a setting on YouTube that I have on where like I, I just have every comment go go in and it never filters anything out. So, yeah. and I'm reading the comments because I'm going through it. It's been like an hour or two after the video and it popped off, right? A couple hundreds of views within the la like first like hour or so. And, you know, within like the first like 30 to, you know, 20 comments, some of them are just, you know, saying, oh, you deserve to get hacked or not hacked but like banned and all that stuff and people are being racist about my eyes bro that's crazy stuff i yeah. didn't know you could even allow that because i have it where people always like say why are you deleting my comments i don't delete there's I'm a filter delete, system like, a there's a, a filter, filter system like, I don't, yeah you I don't can't know and where we can't even change that. it that much no i mean i'm not i i'm just gonna leave it but they mm -hmm. even filter out some of mine sometimes i gotta just like use abbreviations and shit. yeah um, mm -hmm. trying to find within this video of me saying I got banned, uh, shadow banned. Um, uh, it's just crazy how people still don't understand the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And what shadow banned really means. The second they hear it, I remember I made like four videos on it because it was like, <laughs> you back to back weeks yeah. I got shadow banned back to back. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm just shitting on these guys. I'm fucking like showing like, I don't, I don't hide anything. It's literally like some of my, sometimes my aim is fucking dog shit looking like Helen Keller out here. Okay, and see. like, <laughs> man, I can't even like, they're like literally saying like, you're cheating and the craziest one. Oh, here's one. Hold on. Let's see what. Oh no. He did. You're cheating. and had a bunch of space where I had this extended. He says, is what people expect me to say. You're the beast, Rick. So <laughs> he, he got me there. He got me in the first half. But uh, the, the craziest thing is when I'm, when I'm playing the games, there's even in the mark of a hero video a few days ago when I had a nuke in the skill-based matchmaking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I'm looking up all the time. And they're always like, this guy's cheating. Look at his eyes. The second monitor. Look at the fucking radar. It's an advanced UAV. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my wait, God. Wait, real Dude, quickly. Like, I'm sorry. <laughs> to, I'm sorry. Not to cut you off, but I dropped a uh, a nuke. I had 122 kills with about 70 deaths, right? I got it literally on hardpoint DOS house. And I got it. I think we had 200 points and we had about 50 points. And we started to let them cap. I got my nuke. I drop it. This guy said, I don't know what an advanced UAV is. I have never seen that kill streak ever be used. And he was a level 699. People are in these reverse boosting lobbies. They, they, no one on their team ever gets, ever kill gets advanced UAV unless it's the guy that's reverse boosting this but on their team. I don't know how the fuck you play the game to level 699, almost 700, couple hours on the game, at least minimum 150 hours. And you don't know what the fucking advanced UAV is. It's crazy, man. It's just like, I don't understand it because even people forget that a normal UAV is, is, a, is in the game. Or some people forget, uh, you don't have a suppressor on your gun? Yeah, motherfucker, you're going to be on the radar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know where you're at. And, I, like, and also just oh knowing how, how the map plays out, too. It's, it's just and spawns. Yeah, it's so I mean, that's, stupid. That's, that's most of the comments I get, uh, except for the recent ones we were saying. But those aren't even that funny. They're just saying that I'm the one that, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna talk but, that. but like, it's, it's, it's more funny. I don't even think they're hate comments because it's like, I don't even know if they're trolling or if they're like that. For dumb. real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Like, so like, sometimes I just, I just call them a bum. That's my favorite word. I love calling <laughs> people bum. Like, you don't know what, it, you're not good at the game. You bum. I don't know. Whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, it's never anything crazy, but it's just so like, I never realized, I said this in a video as well, how stupid we were as a community. Until I made YouTube videos. Yeah, same. Not that everybody was smart on the same page. No, we're not even close. Yeah. I mean, like, I feel like the majority of us are, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's, like, a 30% of the population that's just fucking dumb. Mm -hmm. And I love you. If you're one of those dumb people, I still love you, but I hope one day you can figure it out. Yeah. Like, I have uh, a problem with, like, dumb people in the Call of Duty community when, like, we're, like, people that hack or hunt and just, like, make crazy accusations off of, like, one clip and not watching a full game. Oh yeah, dude. That I, like, I would never do that. So, I would never I do would that. Never, like, no. dude, for me and you, we've watched for the people we've called out. You know, who you know who you are. Um, we've watched games. You know, Multiple full on videos. videos. We've gave them that fucking view, right? It's that watch time. It's hard to find streams though, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, it's so hard to find streams because they delete their vods. If they delete their vods, if you're following a content creator and they delete their vods, 
you it, it, there's number one red flag mm -hmm. like if they only um, stream but, on twitch then because they auto delete after like what 14 days and if you're a partner i think about a month but you know it, it's just insane to me how many people believe that every call of duty content creator or a majority of them are hacking cheating in some way when some of them are legit like dude someone like face jev who who's never ever been outed people still think that he's cheating there's no reason for him to yeah that there's... guy is fucking making bank just doing what he's doing mm -hmm. right I, and i i remember watching this the cdl there were people in there no bullshit not even trolling saying that they were cheating on land <laughs> With a rep standing by, I remember them, like, that. Dude, I remember dude, that. They have aimbot. Oh my god, they have aimbot. No, motherfucker, they're called pros and they're very good at this game. Remember, I mean, yeah. they play like twelve hours a day. And it's also I genetics mean, with the with the reaction time and like how quick they are to learn a freaking video they're game. On the best monitors are on the best mm -hmm. PCs, everything, and the yeah. aim assist this year is broken. <laughs> I mean, the, like that, it's crazy. And then like it is crazy. And then when people come to like me and you, and I have a two point. 4kd and mm -hmm. they say i'm cheating when i get fucking i had i had like a 4.2 kd in my first two games or whatever on my stream last night or two days ago the rest of the game i was the rest of the day i was getting fucking railed i'm like this is skill-based matchmaking that's what happens you know that's i mean like cheating yeah. i guess whatever mm -hmm. i don't know dumb stupid yeah it's it's, it's all in the community because we there's there's literally how i see it as it the kill call of Duty community is split on so many things and there's no clear side and there, there uh, is no wrong, right or wrong but still like it's certain things there's always you know either a right or wrong way to do things and there's still so many people divided over so many things that universally have either been agreed upon in the past and or you know something made it change but yeah man there, there are a lot of split things within the call of duty community with viewers and just even players too you know yeah but um Let's talk about what Call of Duty's games call or killed Call of Duty. Like, you know, what either killed the gameplay, the movement, the focus on Call of Duty, the, the you know, how Activision made games and all that stuff. Um, you can go first. Uh, I got many different reasons for some that I that I'm thinking of. Um mm -hmm. so the first one I automatically thought of was Advanced Warfare. And I'm not talking about the game. I loved Advanced Warfare. I had a lot of fun. But there was, that's the year I noticed a bunch of things. And one, reverse boosting. Mm -hmm. That's when people were fucking just destroying their accounts, killing down that KD bad, big time. Like, I don't see people killing themselves in, in my games. Yeah. Um, but, like, in every game, almost every game, especially at the beginning of that game, they just freaking kill themselves all the time. And then they would get these lobbies that were, where they reverse boosting lobbies to get those nuke or DNA bomb gameplays. So skill-based matching is where I saw that more in that game. Mm -hmm. But then also with the store, with the, uh, with the bundles or with the, uh, what were they called? Stri um, uh, geez, the cases, what were they called? Uh, supply drops. Supply drops. Yeah. So that's where a lot of the store called duty stores started coming into play where they started working more on stuff for the game to make more money off of. And then mm -hmm. that's when it really started to where now we're seeing today. The gameplay is still broken. The fucking servers are still dog shit. The, the, the game could be broken for a whole five, six hours. But the second the Call of Duty score, store goes down, oh shit, two minutes, that shit's going to be fixed. That's what, that's what happened with what season they, five. What do they need to do? They need to get that money as much as they can because that's what they're focused on. Focus on these operators. They're focused on this WWE stuff. The next thing might be fucking Transformer. Who the hell knows what's next? Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's all they're focusing on when the, the game has so many problems. So Advanced Warfare is where I started seeing that part of the store come into play a little bit more. We have always had DLCs and whatever, but that was different. It's not... Everyone expected... It was always fun. It was exciting when that came out. Now it's just who gives a fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, but then I also have... I don't have many games because there's so many bad games in there. But like what really... I feel like affected mm -hmm. yeah advanced warfare with the mainly skill-based measurement call duty store but then my warfare 2019 was just when the stupidity was at an all-time high we got we made dead silence a field upgrade we took away red dots i believe yep. they had red dots taken away in 2019 so let me let me let me cut you off here real quickly from modern warfare 2019 for the original plan right the original plan was to have no mini map no red dot and to have dead silence as a field upgrade and to have certain things as field upgrades like um ghosts and all that stuff as field upgrade 
the original plan was to have no mini map, all that stuff. So go ahead. That's, that's ridiculous. I didn't even know that. But like taking away red dots, making just like I said, dead silence that making the footsteps loud as fuck for like a month since launch. Mm -hmm. I mean, holy yeah. shit. Anybody on PC would know where you were from fucking three miles away. I mean, like it was ridiculous. Search and destroy was unplayable. I I mean it was and then just like the whole game itself, the maps were dog shit, fucking terrible ass maps. Yeah. Spawns were horrible too. Added, I think wasn't that the start of Gunsmith, right? Yes. Gunsmith? Modern Warfare twenty nineteen added Gunsmith. And yep. since yep. Modern Warfare twenty nineteen, we've had Gunsmith. I mean, just the amount like three hundred scopes, yet we're only gonna use two or three. Four hundred freaking muzzles, we're only gonna use like <laughs> two, two or three. three. Yep. Fucking insane amount of grips. You're only gonna use two or three. Mm -hmm. Waste of time on unnecessary bullshit. And, you know, like I said, that's just where all the downfall came in. And it's just like, you can even bring in Modern Warfare 2 2022, but everybody knows that game fucking sucked. Making yeah. the perks, making the perks like pop out you have to, in between like, the you, game. Like, you gotta wait 30 <laughs> seconds because remember they, they, they made it to where you got it quicker. Gotta wait 30 seconds to get your second or third perk. And then after like two minutes, you'll get ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> it's so doing? stupid. So fucking stupid. And then just you add on to no mini map or no red dots. Did wait? I'm trying to think. Did 2019 have no red dots? It had no sure red dots. That? I'm pretty sure it did. And um, remember, Modern Warfare Three, the first one of the first things we found out was that if you had a suppressor, you would be off the radar, and if you didn't, you would have red dots again. That was the Modern Warfare Three. This year was well, the know, first yeah, game. I know MW2 didn't have. I'm just trying Mono, to remember. No, from Mono Warfare 2019 to Mono Warfare 2. They did not have red dots. Cold War had it, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Cold but it, it was a Treyarch's huge thing for Mono Warfare to have it. Yeah, Treyarch. It was, wait, Tre Sledgehammer made Cold War. Right? No, no, Treyarch. Treyarch did. Did Black, they? Yeah, they block off Cold War. My fucking God, dude. I'm losing it. I'm losing <laughs> it. All right, well, Treyarch knows what they're doing. I mean, even with COVID, they made a better game than anything we've had. Except yeah. Modern Warfare 3 has been solid. Even post-launch, Modern Warfare 3 has been good. But, I mean, for uh, me... Yeah, I, I'm done. I don't have anything yeah. else. Just, for I me, so community-wise, right? For, for me growing up, I grew up, you know, with Modern Warfare 2, the original one, 2009. And I was watching YouTube, Call of Duty all the time. And after Ghost, there was, like, a significant fall-off between content creators just not wanting to play Call of Duty. But... Looking back at it now, Ghost is a good game that would that game. for, but it was it, it was so hated at the time. But then we got more worse Call of Duty, and I think Advanced Warfare killed Call of Duty for the longest time because the dark period really started with Advanced Warfare adding supply drops, making it pay to win for Call of Duty, and then not listening to the community at all. And Activision was more worried about profits, sales, revenue, and microtransactions than actually pleasing the fan base. Right, the the players, and then I feel like after Modern Warfare 2019, the multiplayer was horrible. Warzone carried, okay, and we were good at first. Vanguard was kind of shitty, but it wasn't really that bad. And then no, Modern Warfare 2 2022, for me, this is the Call of Duty game that I came back into and started making content with. Right, I did it for an entire year, okay. And Rick, I convinced myself that this I game, that. I convinced that Mon I convinced myself that Modern Warfare 2 was a good game. I got, I got. Orion in it, bro. I got the mastery camo in it, dude. You're fucking crazy. I'm sorry. And that game, I played that game for three months. Fuck that game. That <laughs> dude, game that game sucked. Warzone was ass. Warzone was fucking terrible. Multiplayer was ass. The, you would be shooting a gun in multiplayer and you would just randomly go up, right? The 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 gunsmith was at its worst. You had to tune your freaking attachments. What the, the fuck? The, the movement, movement, movement was removed. Was the maps were like, horrible, right? And it was just so bad. The look of the game, the feel of the game, and just that whole entire COD killed the Call of Duty community for a whole entire year, right? And I'm not going to lie. I don't care that Modern Warfare 3 isn't as good as, you know, Cold War and all that stuff or any of the past Call of Duties. It's at least top two, top three best since Modern Warfare 2019 because of the I changes that the they best. made. I think it's the best. Hit that I think it's top two. Yeah. It's yeah. But I, I think that Modern Cold Warfare 3 War. is is overhated and it for what it started off to be with the amount of hate, you know, the amount of drama with sledgehammers making making Modern Warfare 3 within under a year, close to ten months, nine months, and then 
afterwards with all the post-launch content with the seasons, the weapons, all that stuff. Some of it, it be broken, but some of it being balanced and the constant weekly updates. Modern Warfare 3 is not as bad as Modern Warfare 2 at all. Not even close. Not, not even not close. Even same area. If anybody even said they're the same, they can fucking, they can fuck right off. It's not <laughs> even close. It's, uh, oh my God, I was just about to say something. It, it was a difference. A lot of people say when I fucking shit talk Modern Warfare 3, I don't fucking dislike the game. I don't know what's so hard. Like, I dislike the things that are being done to the game. Yeah. Because I said so many times, this has, this, this game itself self has so much potential to be a top three COD of all time, in my opinion. Okay. Because I never, be, until this season, season five is where we actually have broken guns. Mm -hmm. STG, like, you can't even compete. If Static, on a yeah. Coach, you are fuck. I mean, mm -hmm. like, you can't even compete. But, like, if, if before this season, you could use any gun or most of the ARs or most of the SMGs. I'm talking about ARs and SMGs for the real Call of Duty players out there. I don't fuck with anything else. Uh, for, you can use any SMG, you would do fine, mm -hmm. except for maybe one. You could use any AR and you'd be fine, except for maybe two, the, the two burst weapons, which yeah. I'm fine with. Fuck burst mm -hmm. weapons. I think I don't need another MSBS like Call of Duty Ghost. That was ridiculous <laughs> um, for all you OG players out there. Mm -hmm. But that's what... um. That's why I liked it so much. Now, I wish they didn't have the OG MW2 maps because those maps fucking suck. But, like, if they, if this game just had the maps were, if they had more time to make this game, I feel like it'd be so much easier. And if they didn't have the stupid shit coming from the, the top of the, of the, whatever you want to call it, the company, mm -hmm. SBMM, gotta protect all these shit ass players. Oh, the servers are bad. Fuck the servers. We don't need to invest in that. I mean, that's the biggest issue for me now. I don't even give a fuck about cheaters because mm -hmm. when I play multiplayer, I'm not facing cheaters. Yeah. But damn, am I lagging my fucking ass off? Am I getting packet burst the second I move? Every fucking game. Every game. If I mm -hmm. don't see packet burst on the top left, Jesus Christ is coming down and it's time to go because it's, it's never happened. Yeah. It hasn't happened yet, right? So, like, what are we doing to where we can't just make the easy changes? I don't know what the problem is. But, like, when I hate on shit like that, I still like the game. I yeah. love playing the game. Mm -hmm. I just get frustrated by the stupid-ass shit that yeah. they're doing to this game. And it's not even the same for Black Ops 6. Yeah, it's not even that you're nitpicking or, you know, a lot of people are nitpicking. Like, dude, if you did not like the game, like, look at, um, like, other YouTubers that make complaining videos about certain things about Call of Duty. They're playing a different game. They're playing the, a different game, right? So, even, so game and they don't even know what is going on and maybe sometimes they're not even that good right but we are we're not even nitpicking we are just trying to point out the fact that there's a significant problem with one thing if we did not like the game we probably wouldn't even be playing it at all every day and or uploading it or uploading it at all right yep i didn't play mw2 because i didn't like mw2 mm-hmm so it's simple. I didn't make content back then, but like if I was making content, I would not make content on that shit because that game fucking sucked. Yeah. Somehow I, I grinded it crimson. I don't know how I did it. <laughs> oh my God. But yeah. But I mean, it's just like, I don't know, man. Th it those is what it is. Are, those, yeah, yeah I mean, those Call of Duties like impacted the community and the player base in a negative way and the rep for the game. Because remember, a majority, right? The people that are not in the Call of Duty cycle that are not let's say, mesmerized by playing a new Call of Duty every single year, right? Normal people, right? They know that Call of Duty is the same thing every year. They call it out every single year. And, like, I, I see why. Because, like, dude, Call of Duty is literally the same thing with, like, one or two major differences. And, you know, for us players that buy it, we're fine with that, you know? But those, the games, like, Advanced Warfare 2019, Modern Warfare 2019... Modern Warfare 2 2022, they have impacted the game's rep to, to casuals, to interviewers, to anybody negatively. Um, but they, they've done a, a certain amount of damage, man. And, like, dude, look at how Advanced Warfare affected um, Call of Duty with microtransactions for years, for like literally three, four games in a row. It this was insane. Just, I think this game's just even the worst. With how much with, with the collabs so and all that stuff, and also like so, certain attachments turning into like pay to win, and also like not being able to recognize your teammates because there's. I'm gonna be honest. Like at first, for me, when you when you made that argument in one of your older videos, like mm -hmm. I mean, I I can tell, but then when I started playing the game again, 
right? I was like, oh shit, he's fucking right. If you get fucking stunned or EMP'd, you are screwed. Yeah. You have no idea. You might know maybe one or two, like, because you're continuing to kill the same guy or he's killing you. Mm -hmm. You might know, like, okay, that guy's an enemy. But, like, casual players yeah. won't. Or, or some people just don't do that. I mean, but, like, we, you got to get, again, we fucking shit talk it because we're not the business people. But if we were the heads of the business, it's an easy fucking thing. That would be like, mm -hmm. hell yeah, keep selling them because they're making bank. Yeah. Because people keep buying them. Somehow, some way, people will pay $20, $25 for a fucking pixelated skin in a game. Couldn't it be me? I just want to look I, cool in the game, no bro. Offense. I just hey, want to no see offense. the hands. <laughs> no offense to you guys. If anybody does it, no offense. But I just don't know where you get that money or how you have that, that mentality to spend money like that because... I'm cheap as fuck, man. I, I would no way. It's it's even mm -hmm. crazy we're paying seventy dollars for this game, but yeah, a market. I mean, I've been saying I've been saying multiplayer should be free anyways, but you know what? Whatever, especially especially this year when they're bringing back recycled ass content at launch, all the same maps, just better graphics. Fuck you doing? Mm -hmm. Should be free. Should yeah. be free. Um, but next thing I did want to talk about because a lot of people, from me and maybe you, um, have talked about Exafine if we still play the game. If we still keep up with it, and I I'm just gonna be straight up, I I'm about to delete the game. I was gonna delete the game this morning, uh, b before we it's got in this call. The game, it. the game is just not the same, and like, there's there is proof for it. A lot of a good amount of players have already left the game due to recent updates. After the fact that other people already left the game after the initial launch, and now YouTubers that post X Defiant are complaining even more, and. They have said, like, Dioki, um, that guy, he has a couple thousand subs that I've been watching for uh, a couple weeks and months now. He said that Exafine's dying and losing a lot of players. And looking at what updates they have done, because I actually haven't played the updates, but the, the last time I played was over a month and a half ago when they changed snipers and more importantly changed the movement with how you can bunny hop and all that stuff and, like, spam jump. It just It's just not the same game. Like, even the people, right. even my IRLs, they don't want to play the game because they're like, dude, it's it's not the same game that we played initially from a year ago to when the game first launched. It doesn't feel like X Defiant. There's, the, the thing I hated about it was, one, you want to talk about netcode. That thing is just <laughs> ridiculous. I mean, I've been killed around the corner from fucking four feet or five, six, seven feet. That fucking bullet's turning and going around like a fucking fat fuck. I mean, like, mm -hmm. it just looks like a, that round of, I don't even know, man, but like, then again, I'm playing the game. I'm like, what the fuck am I playing for? Yeah. There's nothing for me to go towards. Mm -hmm. Zero. And it's just like, there's no, I don't know. People could say the same about COD and that's fine. But at least COD, I'm going for kill streaks. I'm going for nukes, which are hard to get nowadays, which is mm -hmm. why I like going for them. But in Exafine, there's no satisfaction for me to go get a high kill streak. There's no satisfaction to go and waste. I, mean, I don't know how, if they fix it or not. I know I've heard they said that they fixed it or whatever. But, like, take it forever to get this camo, which doesn't even look that good. Like, I could get mm -hmm. two fucks. Yeah. Get a gun to, like, level 50 or 100 or whatever to get bronze. Like, yeah. what? You don't want to keep using the know. same weapon for that long. But oh, I think the main reason why we stopped playing and then uploading and keeping up with it is just that, like, the updates made no sense. And there was a gameplay problem with the netcode for a lot of players. At the most, It was never consistent where, like, okay, I know I can't do this. But it would just happen out of nowhere. Like, it, there yeah. wasn't a fix for it for the players at all until they fixed it. And I, I just think that X Defiant also missed the launch window as well. They, what, they brought 100%. up... 100%. They, they missed out on, you know, before Modern Warfare 3. Because, dude, when a, last year, when Modern Warfare 2 2022 was the main game and X Defiant had that first initial couple of betas... I think that could have launched it right. Yeah, then and could there. could have launched it right then and there and built it up, like for Fortnite. Fortnite Battle Royale was not even a complete game when it launched in 2017. But with with its other competitors, they're like you know at a downfall. It's like okay, let's just launch it. And then look at look at Fortnite. It's the biggest game in the world a after what almost a decade now, right? But X Defiant for me, and I feel like for you too. I feel like we both agree. It's just like it's not the same, and also like. It was never going to be the Call of Duty killer. And a lot of people, I feel like, were viewing it as that. Yeah. When it should be viewed as the Call of Duty alternative if you don't want to deal with skill-based matchmaking or, you know, the but microtransactions. The thing, that's the best thing about X Defiant, though. Two mm -hmm. things. Two things with skill-based matchmaking. One, it showed you 
who is actually good and who's not. Because yeah. the best thing, I'm going to mention his name, Frizz Eyes. <laughs> Fucking goes insane in Call of Duty. Goes to Axe Fine and barely has a 2KD. So that like shows you the best thing about it is skill-based matchmaking. Without it, these guys would be fucking shit on. Yeah. So that was a good thing because I've made videos on it. Skill based match, even if with skill based matchmaking, if it was out of Call of Duty, yeah, there'd be more games where you could pop off because I we we're still popping off with skill based matchmaking. Mm -hmm. But like it would expose these people saying, "Oh my god, you know I would fucking destroy lobbies without skill based." No, you would not. You probably won't if you mm -hmm. can't destroy some lobbies now. You're not going to destroy some lobbies without skill. I'm just I'm sorry. There are so many good people in the game, and that's why I like Dex Defiant because it literally shows you <laughs> who's good or who's bad. Like, there's too many sweats now. It's too there's too many people good at playing the game because so many people grow up playing games. But like, that's that's why I liked it because or kind of like was happy it was out there because it exposed these guys. Why do you think none of these dudes post it? Well, one, the game sucks, yes, but like, they weren't doing good. They're getting shit on. They had to spend a lot of time to get content. Unlike now, they can just join these lobbies, get that bot account up, and do <laughs> two games and get off the fucking game and make their you know couple thousand views with three hundred thousand fucking subscribers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jesus Christ. But like, other than that, dude, that shit's boring. It's mm -hmm. boring. It's a boring ass game. There's nothing to go towards. It's not good. Yeah. I don't know. I just. I, I had the little honeymoon phase for two days and I woke up and I'm like, like the what the fuck am I? Yeah, what the fuck am I playing? Why am I spending time? Even, game is not even close to COD. It's not even close. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I but don't know. It's just, it, and then the factions pissed me off. I mean, it's so <laughs> annoying. Like, yeah. But fucking shield and cover yourself. Oh, I'm shooting at it for 20 they, seconds. Still not down. They, Jesus sh fuck. they should have a game mode where it's literally no factions, but it's like just regular play, like bare bones, literally bare bones where, yeah, you can pick a faction. Right, but don't have any of the stupid ass abilities, bro. Don't have any of the ultimates and all that stuff. Right? Don't even give extra health. Just have everyone at the same health too. Hey man, as players, we can always wish, but unfortunately, really? yeah, we don't. We can never make that, the choice. I'm telling you, I have a. There's no way the people that make these games actually play the game. I don't know about you. This is mm -hmm. kind of going a little off topic, but anytime I played with a dev, whether it's with Activision or they're just dog shit. Or they're, they're fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> terrible why do you think they love playing this broken shit in like riot shields that cover your fucking whole body or or shotguns that are one shot from cross like mean dude they're all dog shit mm -hmm. get yeah. somebody get these og guys that actually were good at the game and make the game back but they're all gone now everybody that made like mao for two the og one and all that they're all gone mm -hmm. they're all gone yeah and whatever but it is what it is but like dude like that, that that's something to really talk about because like yeah you devs are quote unquote old, but you guys are developing this game. You guys should have a clear cut advantage over these people. Like, dude, for other games, people that are devs, they're somewhat decent and no more because they developed the game and they've tested it out. Right. And I don't know why for Call of Duty devs, they're just ass at the game. Like I've seen Call of Duty devs get nuked. I've seen Call of Duty devs um, get shrieked on before. I've seen Call of Duty devs go ultra negative or like just get little to no kills and or even objective play but either way like you know just to get back on topic um x defiance just not it anymore and it was for you know a, last year but when it actually fully came out it just was not it not it but um let's end off with uh some content tips i, I feel like this is something we should do you know give the viewer something whoever whoever's thinking about making content whoever's already making content whoever's stuck within the content creation you know grind and journey we, i think we should start giving uh people some more tips and all that stuff and just talk about something different because i mean i've been doing this for three years now hit three years about last month right i, I did fortnite content call and now call of duty content and you've been doing it for what nine months eight months now eight months yeah yeah and i feel like especially for a lot of our, our viewers, they're all Call of Duty players, they're all Call of Duty content creators, you know, some of them are. And with the Call of Duty cycle and the game being so dry right now, how how would you say how to deal with burnout? You know, with, especially with content creation. That's hard, man, because I am burned out right now mm -hmm. because it's like I was, I was at the point this morning, thank God that I saw that tweet with the spider shit. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, that's an easy video to talk about. But like, I was this morning, I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck and make a video on because like, 
I want to take a break from the normal, you know, exposing people. I want to take a break from that for a bit. Okay. For a bit, meaning like a few days, because the fuck are we doing? We got to expose these guys. Yeah. But, um, I was just like, I don't want to play the game. I don't want to do a live go- gameplay. I, cause I'm not in the mood to just, it's hard. So the deal with burnout, I mean, shit, man, that's where I like just play when you're in the mood to play, get five fucking gameplays, just, just mm-hmm. play. And even if they're shit, save them. Yeah. That's what I do. And yeah. Then, and then if you're burnt out, you don't have to play, just commentate over that video, somewhat relate that thing to whatever your, 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 your YouTube channel is about. So my YouTube channel, obviously, and that's very important as well. We'll talk about that. My YouTube channel is about Call of Duty. So everything I'm going to commentate on is going to be about Call of Duty. Because if I make a video, let's say, talking about fucking football, nobody's going to click on it because the algorithm's not going to realize that title, realize any hashtag I use in the script. It's not going to go anywhere because that's not what my channel's about. The algorithm's not going to work like that. Mm -hmm. So you got to be able to, number one, pick a topic that you want your YouTube channel to be. And don't go so specific, specific. Oh my fuck! Specific if you don't want to. But like for me, I know I'm gonna play Call of Duty, so I, I'm fine with that. But like, just be careful what you decide to make videos on, especially like the first month in. Mm-hmm. And 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 if you are getting burnt out, find a time where you're feeling okay to play the game or do whatever you're doing. Make a bunch of content or at least record a bunch of gameplays, and then just save them and be able to have commentary skills. If yeah. you don't know how to talk. You aren't going anywhere. I'm sorry. I mean, you guys want facts. You want the truth. If you don't know how to talk in a mic and you don't know how to do any of that type of shit, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. You could be the best player. You You could be be the the best best player, but like, I like, it's like Booyah. Booyah. Great example. I can never watch him. He's so fucking good at the game, Mm -hmm. but I can never watch him because he's boring. He doesn't say anything. I mean, that, that was, that's like the first guy that comes to my mind, but like, you have to be able to do that. And then also what I like to say to people now is, I don't know about you, but I love being able to just press play and talk to the fucking camera. No edits, nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That right there, if you're able to do that, that right there just shows that you can possibly do this. I've been doing that the past few weeks. I feel like it's been very mm-hmm. great. You've talked about it. Yeah. We've talked I, I about like it. I feel like if you're able to do that, that's awesome. Because, I mean, yet again, I'm not saying you can't edit out because some people say I'm a little bit too much. I don't know how much I I feel like I've gotten a little better at it. But yeah, you just have to be able to make it seem like something like you're good at and just energy. Like, you Mm -hmm. know, I'm trying to say like, yeah, but like if you're getting burnt out, just find one day. Some people do it like on a weekend. I can't do shit on the weekend that much because. If if I have a bad day on COD, my weekend is fucking ruined, <laughs> and I'll stress about it. I usually go in the weekdays because it's a little bit easier to get better gameplays. But if you're able to just get a bunch of gameplays and just find ways or topics to talk about, you won't get burned out because, like I said, if you're able to talk to a camera, it's a 10-minute commentary, quick little edit, not too much to go, put the video out there. Yeah. And, and uh, I mean, that's just dealing with burnout. I don't know what you have to say about that. Then we'll go to the other stuff down here because I have some really good shit for that, but I don't want to go too far. Yeah. For me, I, I know how to avoid burnout. You know, I've been doing this for three years and throughout my two channels that I have, like, I, you know, just stopped posting for, you know, either a couple of days and then those the days would turn into weeks and those weeks would turn into, you know, sometimes like month or two. Right. And so like, after three years of doing this content creator stuff from 16 to 19, uh, I know how to avoid it and like dealing with it now, especially with now I've done Call of Duty for two years now. Um, I definitely know how to deal with it, but also more importantly, I think how to avoid it. For me, how to avoid burnout is literally by knowing when you're at your limit and taking a break and being fine with it. For example, if I, you know, on stream, Clearly don't have the energy to do it. Clearly yeah, getting bored. Great point I, I'll just end the stream. But if yep. you're recording and you're not, you know, it, it's a topic that you thought that it would be good. It's not turning out good. It's fine to stop recording and just like think of something new and just do it, you know, within the next couple of hours or do it the next day. Don't force yourself to make stuff that takes, you know, your passion and your um, drive to do it out and just ruins it for you. You want to, you know, for jobs, like, if you're not having fun, either leave or try to do something else within that company. So that's that's my best way to avoid burnout. Just end or stop what you're doing when you're at your limit and be fine with it and accept it and then especially, go back. 
especially streaming, dude. I mm -hmm. my, that's why my streams are so so short. short. One, you, mm -hmm. usually, like you know, what I mean, like I I stream after work. A lot of people that stream have full time jobs. We're not these top streamers where that's your job. If this was just my job and I'm making as much money as them, I'd have fucking energy for eight hours. Yeah, but unfortunately, I got a full time job, which everybody knows. If you watch mm -hmm. some of my recent live live streams, you know, my IRL live streams. This guy, man. I'm out there. I'm <laughs> fucking working, dude. I'm working. I'm not saying it's hard work, but I'm on my feet all day. So it's hard for me to, like, if it's very sweaty, mm -hmm. it's very hard for me to be on longer than two hours. But um, you talked about breaks. Um, that's the biggest thing I feel like that's been successful for me is I think my longest break was, like, two days, mm -hmm. which I feel like, for me at least, I don't know. It's different with everybody, obviously. But It depends me, on what you're going through. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It always does. But like for me, two days was like perfect. And then I was able to like so much happened within those two days. I was like, bam, that's a video idea. Bam, that's a video idea. Bam, I can talk about that. Oh, there's I, I feel like that's so easy. But like also. It's just like you can't take too long a break. So I don't know about you. Like if I took a month off, I'd fucking I feel like I you, so you feel much. like. Yeah, because dude, like I don't. Yeah, all, I've all, never done it. I mm -hmm. don't think I could, but I'm I'm very like against that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You said you did. I don't know yeah. how that turned out. For and... me, like, I, I saw the effects of it because, listen, I, got, I had a few pop-ups videos and they're like, oh, I'm burnt out, right? And then I would stop for either, it would turn into days, then into weeks, then to like, the longest break I ever took was two months, like, without anything happening to me. It's just I wanted to take a break. And literally, my views fell off, but also the, the, the aspect of the community was just gone. And I would have to rebuild again, right? And that's why I started daily uploading after school for me ended in, in on May fifteenth, right? May seventeenth, I just was uploading every single day because I did not want to just take unnecessary breaks, and especially with how much time I had and still have right now, um, there's no reason to take a break, right? And especially with b me knowing and being able to avoid burnout and just being bored. It's just like the perfect combination to just keep uploading and never be burnt out at all. That's one of the biggest things that frustrates me, though, whenever people come to me. And it's fine. Everybody can come to me. I, I would love to help. Yeah, I'll come on. Yeah. This content. <laughs> all right. You know what I mean? Like, come to me, uh -huh. not on me. Uh, I'm fine with people speaking to me about this, but I get frustrated when I go and I look at their, when they tell me to go look at their stuff and I look at it. And it's like two, three weeks between each upload. And it's something and different. I'm like, come on, dude. Like, mm -hmm. like that's, that's, that's 101. You know, that's 101. Like, YouTube 101 is you have to keep posting. You got to keep your name out there. And you have to stay on a certain area topic. You're seeing it with Nick Merckx now. I've seen him. He loves doing this drama now within the gaming or streaming world. And it's been working for him. Yet again, he already has millions of subscribers. So anything he does will probably be better. But all his drama or reaction videos have done way better than him even playing the video game. And now he's uploading every single day. Every single day. And it's so easy for him. It's like the easiest thing. It's not hard. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying everybody needs to do that. But, like, find something you'd like and that's easy for you within your time frame mm -hmm. and do it. Yeah. You don't have to force it. Like you said, if you have to take a day off, that's fine. But I feel like you have to at least post four to five times a day at least. A week. Uh, a In week. a week. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. A week. Four to five times a week at least. I like to post seven times. Mm -hmm. That can be difficult with Call of Duty. But like I said, you got to be able to have your your topic or your area of that you're trying to build. And mine's Call of Duty, which also can go into just gaming in general, streaming in general, you know. So I have a little mm -hmm. flexibility. But if you go from gaming to then sports to then cars to then back to gaming to then IRL stuff to then, you're not going to get in the algorithm. Yeah. It's never mm -hmm. going to blow you up. You have to find something. And then as you keep going, you could slowly start to add in here yeah. and there. But like I said, if I made a video, even let's say if I made a, even like a gaming setup video, I feel like that would not do that well. Yeah. Because, it, you know what I mean? It's not a call of duty. So I got to like find a way to kind of relate it to it. But yet again, some people might not click on it because they're looking for call of duty. Who knows? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like, that's why I'm saying what? when it talks about, all mm -hmm. that like people not picking a topic or a niche, yeah whatever yeah what, what what rick is saying is it's like pick a niche stick st pick a niche that you will like and enjoy no matter if the the niche is dry and or there's a you know a stale stalemate with it grow with that niche and then when you feel comfortable enough slowly start 
uploading different things and if they if you like it and you you know are getting good views and you're fine with you know the first couple of videos doing horribly bad and you stick with it then you know you'll be fine to branch into other things but what rick's saying is just pick a niche that you like and actually genuinely enjoy and stick with it until you feel like you're comfortable going into another one and then just keep posting both of those niches take a long time it's not gonna be you cannot do multiple different topics at the start of your yeah uh, you can't start your channel you mm -hmm. have to wait like even i'm even seeing i'm gonna shout out my boy shorty index and he admitted to it to me on this stream he's like trying trying to kill his channel right now or kind of make it like because he's been posting like grand theft auto now he's always a call of duty guy but then he got burnt out of call of duty and now he hasn't just he's not even posting he's doing different gameplays doing a different channel if you ever want to post different stuff i i was kind of against it at first but like it makes sense now mm -hmm. go make another channel yeah mm -hmm. go make another channel um i would recommend growing one at first and then that way if other people you can always like shout that out your channel. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. but uh don't do multiple things on one that's all it really comes down to yeah because if you do you're gonna ruin your uh, the algorithm and it's really and like your subs and all that stuff yeah be very hard to grow mm -hmm. um and that that's just an easy topic but i don't know if you have anything else on that no but we could definitely talk about content ideas because a, a, a big reason the main reason a lot of people get burnt out is not have an idea even when when they have the niche and all that stuff and just have an oh, idea okay. so yeah yeah what, like how do you um always create or have content ideas oh, man, for videos. I feel like this is the reason why I started YouTube though. I mentioned this in one of my videos recently, mm -hmm. what I want to do. I didn't know a call of duty YouTuber that made, was able to play and make gameplay videos, was able to commentate and was able to expose the bullshit that was happening, whether it was cheaters or through Activision. Yeah. So I'm I so I got like four areas if you want like mm -hmm. rant videos on Activision or saying rant or doing good things that they're doing. So like just commentaries, gameplay videos, exposing, and then even like gun class. So like kind of like gameplay yeah. videos. But you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like so I didn't know anybody out there that did all three because everybody that makes a commentary, they're usually dog shit at the game. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I want to be able to watch somebody that I can look for multiple like I could be like, oh my god, what's coming next for their for their next video. It could be a gun class. It could be a commentary. It could be whatever. So I wanted to do that. But like content ideas, I, I go to Twitter. Yep. And obviously I follow the people on that are in the Call of Duty world just so you're up to date with something that's going on or that's going to happen because that's an easy way to find commentary videos. It's also an easy way to find rant commentaries. Yeah. It's also an easy way to follow some of these. It's also a good thing to follow some of these people that are looking for hackers Cause then you can help expose or see some stuff. That's another way. Like, you know, so that's how I get content ideas. Not everybody's going to want to do that. Some people want to go to this, this gameplay or direction, whatever. I feel like that's difficult nowadays. Uh, I feel like every gameplay is the same now because nobody knows what's real or not. Uh, and that's the sad part. Cause back in the day, I mean, just like everybody knew there was no, there was no manipulating matchmaking. It was just like, mm -hmm. if you got a good gameplay, holy shit, that's going to pop off. We remember yeah scumps and black ops 2 guy going 88 and 0 that has like 10 million views now yeah uh, but now you got people dropping 113 kill streaks 113 gun kill streaks uh, hero uh, and and he's got like 4,000 views on it maybe 3,000 maybe less i don't know who knows but like it's like content ideas you have to it's so difficult because we're called duty guys and mm -hmm. it's it's hard to keep content going but what i do is like i said follow twitter and that gives you so many ideas because every there's so many things there's so many different day. arguments conversations opinions yep. which is very good it's very good to have your own opinion and also like a different opinion from the majority and that's yep. why for me for my content ideas like i do what some like rarely do exposed videos right every couple of weeks when like something big actually happens um then i also do controller settings videos with using other people's controller settings. And then I get my community involved with their own class setups or, you know, their own challenge that they give me. And I do my own challenge videos. And then I also just talk about what's going on with my life, you know, like a regular cut commentary. And then I make commentary videos about Call of Duty. So I have like four or five. But for me, like for content ideas, yeah, I, I go to Twitter as well. I go to Reddit. And then for challenge videos or like, you know, things I can do within the game, right? Um, I go back to what has changed with Call of Duty the past um, and s do things that interest me and something that I've seen other people do, 
not like not a lot of people do but like um i just see what has been done either on twitter reddit or, or youtube and i'm like okay i want to try that out that seems cool i want to get my own opinion on it and share my experience with doing it like for example one of my future videos that i want to do is a stretch res video i don't know if you know what this is but you can do a stretch resolution where it makes everyone wider and pop out more and you get less input delay and more frames and that was a huge thing for fortnite that i did and i have never seen anyone do it in call of duty only like a, probably a handful so i want to do something like that and then like another one of my video ideas is a commentary video about my concerns about black Ops 6 right yep and like just going on social media and f finding things about your niche and what you want to record and talk about is such a great way to get content ideas and not right. always just doing the same video 24 7 helps with you know cr creative wise yeah that's what i'm trying to get away from because it was just like multiple days of this fucking drama shit so i'm trying to get mm -hmm. away from that but and you uh, get burnt out watch, from it you know yeah, watching watching other videos is always a good uh solution because you can get ideas from it but mm -hmm. make sure if you do that don't fucking steal the video out, yeah shout out, shout out that shit mm -hmm. um at least just tag him in it or whatever you guys say but yeah man yeah good one today man good one good one but, uh, yeah, I don't know if you have anything else, but uh, I thought it was pretty good today. And, yeah, uh, it was good, of, dude. Of shit in there. A lot of stuff in there. Oh, my God. This, let well, me tell you, man, it yeah. is hot in this fucking room. I cannot wait for this nap. I'm about to fucking spank. <laughs> you better spank, spank it, dude. But, yeah, we're going to go, guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe to both of our channels, and comment down what, you know, your thoughts on what the things we talked about from the reverse boosting, content creators lying, um, the Black Ops 6 leaks, some funny interactions that you may have had on other people's videos, uh, what killed Call of Duty, what went wrong for XFI, and even content tips of your own. But yeah, me and Rick are going to hit hit the hay, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk whenever we talk. Yep, have a good one, y'all. The fuck you doing? Peace.